Hey, what's up, guys? Kane here with XPLA Fans. Gonna be showing off a little bit of Pix the Cat. Uh, so, gonna give you guys a quick taste of this one. This game is currently out now for $9.99. It does have a launch day discount of $7.99. So, that'll be going on for at least a week until uh, after release. So, this is from Neko Entertainment. This game has a couple different modes. Right now, I'm gonna show off the arcade. That's um, Witch Doctor so far has been my favorite of the voices. There's a lot of different unlockable things. There's a couple different modes within this arcade. The main mode is, uh, it's the same every time you do it. Daily changes up a good bit. But this one's gonna be the same thing. Kinda lets you help perfect your high score cause you kinda get a good flow for how this goes. Like I think I've scored better every time I've played it now. So like I've just now started to be able to score in the millions again. But the game's pretty simplistic. Every time you pick up an egg, it turns into a duck, and then you want to drop off those ducks in those, uh, like, target squares. However, you get a bonus if you collect all the ducks before you, uh, or all the eggs before you turn them in. So if you notice, I'm intentionally trying to not turn in anything until I've collected every single egg, and that's how you get that perfect bonus, and that's what you really need to keep getting your combo up and get higher high scores. So that's probably the, the part that makes this most difficult. It's actually not a very hard game, and I've looked at the achievement list. This should be doable for most people. Uh, this one segment right here, like, literally had an epiphany after I failed it this time on how to actually do it correctly. I have yet to do this right. So, like, that just shows you right now that, like, this is an area that I could easily, like, improve my high score with. So, obviously, it's timed. And you keep going between these different worlds. One thing I do like is that later on the game introduces a, a couple new mechanics. Including a reason for you to want to come in and out of some of these worlds. So at any point, if you wanted to, you could just go backwards. Which is kind of neat. And I like the idea that like as you play, like you keep getting into these smaller sections of the board. Like, like I was talking about right here is a good example. Gives you a nice little shortcut if you actually just use the level. Perfect. This is one of the harder segments of the, the main part. I've done it right once. <laughs> but honestly, like, uh, this is probably where you're gonna end up killing yourself. It's just not worth it. Don't, don't worry about the perfect bonus. Unless you're actually better at this game than I am. But as you get different scores in this mode you're actually able to unlock uh cool new content including a couple different modes which i'll show off in a little bit now fever time is legit because this allows you to actually just go in and kill these skulls and when you kill these skulls you get massive bonus points so it's like headshot time all right now this is what happens if you kind of choke yourself off this game plays a lot like pac-man meets snake um, and right there is a good example of how you can screw up. Okay, I think I thought I was going to choke myself out if I kept going. <laughs> Like, eventually, you just kind of run out of room. Makes it a little more difficult. But I've actually been very much enjoying this game. It is going to be, you know, $7.99 for at least this first week of launch. Which, to me, feels pretty solid for what you're getting in it. Like, the fact that they have all these different modes is, like, really key. Otherwise, that'd be a little, little much. Perfect. I think this might actually be my best run ever. Like now that I'm rewatching this. 
Like, I'm into this section without having killed myself in the last one. That is super rare for me. Like, almost always I end up uh, killing myself in that last area. But yeah, we'll be showing this game off on uh, Twitch on launch night um, at 6 p.m. EST. Zero J Hootie is going to be streaming it. Should be a good time. Hang out with him. Watch him play some Picks the Cat. And we're heading toward the end of this run, obviously, with 10 seconds left. So I'm going to go show off the, uh, the other two modes in a second. So it's Laboratory and Nostalgia. Nostalgia, in my opinion, is really cool because they uh, introduce a lot of mechanics in it that actually make this game pretty interesting. So this is out on Xbox One. It has previously been out on PlayStation uh, 4, Vita, and Steam. So this is laboratory mode. Basically, this is like a pure puzzle game at this point. So you're just trying to complete the board and the amount of moves you have. You have to collect all the different like uh, sleepy things before you can put them on the uh, the other slots. I don't know what to call them. Like they turn into smiley faces when you actually get them all. But yeah, that's a uh, it's pretty simple. I actually like that mode. I haven't finished it yet, but the nostalgia mode, I think, is actually just really interesting because of the amount of different random mechanics they add in. So I'm going to show off one that I thought was kind of cool. Plus, honestly, I love this music. <laughs> it's just chill as hell. So in this mode, you just want to be able to collect all the different eggs before the uh, goat eats the flower. So it's just a time-based mode. But all the levels are, like, drastically different. So, like, that one was just maneuverability. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Wanted to give you guys a quick taste of Picks the Cat. I've played a good bit of this game, and I've actually been enjoying it a lot. Um, there's a lot of different unlocks, as you can see, that you can get when you play through this game. Please do like and subscribe and uh, share this video. It really does help us a lot. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys.